This is a bagir, an ancient air conditioner, invented around the 8th century AD. Despite using no electricity, it has a cooling system during the hot summer months. However, in the winter, the building still remained warm and comfortable. These buildings are found across Iran, but they are most prevalent in the ancient city of Yazd. As you can see, this city is surrounded by extremely dry and desert conditions. The climate is pretty extreme with the hottest month being July, which has an average temperature of around 38 degrees Celsius, or 102 Fahrenheit. And the highest recorded temperature in the city was a whopping 46 degrees Celsius, that's 115 Fahrenheit. There is also little to no rainfall throughout the year, with the average annual rainfall being somewhere between 0.4 to 0.7 millimeters. It's crazy to think, even today in this city, most buildings do not have modern air conditioning, but instead, they still rely on the ancient air conditioning system. This is because, unlike powered air conditioning and fans, bad gears are silent and continue to function when the electrical grid power fails. The bad gear literally translates as wind catcher. It's a traditional structure used for passive air conditioning of buildings. It works by creating cross ventilation and passive cooling. Wind catchers come in various designs, depending on local prevailing winds. They can be unidirectional, bidirectional, or multidirectional. And despite the name, these wind catchers can also work without wind. Wind catchers rely on local weather and microclimate conditions, and not all techniques will work everywhere. Wind catchers work in a few ways. The first and most common is to cool the inside of the building. The tower has openings that are facing the wind and trap it inside, creating a nice breeze inside the building. When used with a canat, which is an underground water channel or pool, air is drawn down, it reaches the water and then is drawn up to the wind catcher to be dispersed into the building. When there is no wind, the wind catchers are like a chimney, letting the hot air rise and escape. The wind catchers can also be used with a filter to stop dust particles and pollution entering the building. There are hundreds of these wind catchers in Yazd, which is a city entirely made of adobe buildings. There are also lots of dome-shaped roofs with small holes on top. These shapes also help to keep the air inside the building circulating and therefore cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold outside. These shapes and structures are also widely used in North Africa, West Asia and India. Paintings dating back to around 1300 BC, discovered near modern-day Egypt, depict two triangular structures atop of a pharaoh's royal residence, leading archaeologists to believe this was the first wind catcher developed. But still, it's unclear which country or culture invented these architectural designs first, but the idea of keeping buildings cool have clearly spread far and wide, with variations depending on the region. Since the early 20th century, modern day housing has failed to design houses to stay cool, instead favoring electric powered air conditioners, which are more prevalent than ever, and they account for 22% of all the total electricity used in buildings around the world today. However, in the last decades, modern architectural designs have been looking back towards these ancient techniques by using the concept of the wind catchers to create buildings that are more cost-effective and environmentally friendly, such as this new 33-story double-skin tower in Pittsburgh, which is utilizing thermal dynamics. These engineering techniques are also essential for off-grid buildings, such as this desert school in Rajasthan, which is located in the middle of nowhere. If you like this video and love ancient technology, make sure to check out these videos here. Thank you for watching, until next time.